And I will climb Climb the highest hill Gonna ring that mission I've put my name on songs I'd never sing I've gambled on my muse I told her baby that it didn't mean a thing She looked at me confused Crossing those shaky bridges Where the devil on that old crossroad? What are you willing to compromise? You could buy the world for the price of your soul. There is a compass on a golden string Hanging round every heart There is a bell in will a will not ring It knows the light from the dark it Knows all of those shaky bridges Blurring lines Deals with the devil On that old crossroad What are you willing to Compromise You could buy the world For the price and your soul Yeah We've all done things we wish we never did God knows we will a thousand times again But we are a blade that is made strong by fire Every shield that has been hurt Every honest man has lied Crossing those shaky bridges Blurring line deals with the devil that on cross road. What are you willing to compromise? You could buy the world for the price in your soul. You could buy the world for the price in your soul. This album, your latest album, Second Hand uh, Smoke, uh, there was no band present because you did every instrument yourself. Right. Band you was even, all up here. You even did the production yourself? I did, yeah. Um, yeah. There was, some, there was a few musicians. My friend Ben Alamont did the synthesizers, and um, I had some friends do some live strings. But other than that, it was me creating this record in my, my studio apartment. Why or, do you sorry, do Sorry, my that? studio in my house. Yeah. yeah. But why do you do that? I mean, solo is so very solo. Yeah. Uh, I love the production side of things. I love engineering. I like what different microphones do to different amps. I'm, I'm just kind of a geek in that way. I want to know how all the things work. Um, so over the years, I've built up a small studio, and I enjoy that as much as I enjoy writing songs and performing. We also asked you to take a dive in our archive. You came up with three artists. Yeah. The first one was Cranberries. Yeah. I didn't expect that one from you. Well, it, it conjured a memory for me 
at, when my manager gave me the list of the bands to pick from to talk about that I had connections with. And when I was a kid, one of the very first songs that I ever performed live was uh, Zombie. And okay. I, I played it um, with just an electric guitar and my friend brought just his snare drum. So it was just the two of us with electric guitar and a snare drum at this little talent show. And I've always loved that song and, and loved that band. So uh, I don't know. I, 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 it probably didn't sound that good. Mm. I, I, there was no footage of it, so we, we'll never know. All right, let's have a look at this uh, early recording of Cranberries, 1993. It's one of their first TV appearances. So if you look at screen, it's ah. over there, the old one that we recorded in 1993. We, um, we've got the tapes rolling. Take your time. actually walk the same path uh, as people like John Hyatt or James Taylor. James Taylor once started writing songs for others. Yeah, yeah. Like John Hyatt did. Yep. You wrote songs for others as well. Yeah. Why did you decide and when did you decide to change that profession? Um, I didn't change it. I ju it just kind of got added to what I did. When I was a senior in college in, in Tennessee, um, a publishing company got a hold of a demo that I was singing on and a song that I had written with another guy. And they liked my voice and I liked the song, so they called me in for some meetings. And they were just like, hey, this is, would you like a publishing deal? We'll pay you to write songs and you'll write them and then we'll show them to other people and they'll record them. And, you know, I, I wasn't, I didn't really know exactly what went into that. or, or mm -hmm. So I, at first I turned them down. I said, no, I'm not interested in that. Um, and then over the next few months, they kind of, convinced me and it became a huge part of what I still do to this day but it's been about 12 or 13 years of that as yeah. well which is something I do when I'm home and it's kind of more invisible side of my career. Do you see that as oh okay I'm now I'm the songwriter I'm the one who's writing for others and now I'm 
myself, Sean McConnell, not <laughs> writing right. songs for others, but for myself. I try to um, stay the same person so that the song is honest and it comes from the same place. Otherwise, I start feeling like it's not the best song that it could be. Mm -hmm. So I try to write every song from the same place and then I'll just know at the end of the song if this is a song that's for me or for somebody else. Uh, my name is Sean McConnell. This is a song off my new record called Greetings from Niagara Falls. I'm 
coming